Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Here, modify the terrain with a height map texture. Paint tools. So what about on the paint tools? Can I do it with just the paint tools, maybe? I don't know how you go about just removing as wheat, soil, corn, riverbed. And then we come back through this way. Slope thresholds. Grass alpine forest ground. How do I... Strength, slope threshold. Paint steep side. So what about you? Can I... Can I... Maybe right. Got that there. I think the only way to do it is like this. I think I do have to like demolish it one at a time, don't I? I don't know if there is a faster way to remove. There must be a way of doing this with the paint tool, surely. I don't actually know. I mean, I'm, I'm removing a whole load of these trees, so we will probably be able to... We, we can do this fairly quick. There, like that. you just got to, like, get in on the base of the tree. I just whiz the mouse back and forwards here a little bit like this. It's getting rid of most of them. It's, it, do, it doesn't seem to be, like, a, a paint tool that you can use to get rid of them, though. Is that all of them? Remove the trees in the green area. Right, so we've done that little bit right there. Then I want to go into here and I want to go to high speed tracks. I need to lay tracks in that area right there. And in order to do that, I'm going to go from the tracks right over here. And I'm going to bring that around over there a bit. Why you? Oh, you're at 61 down on that bit. That's That's fine. So I'm going to bring you out to there, and then I'm going to bring this around. That's going to go around like that. And then we'll come in this way. It sort of slows down a little bit. Still going to be able to do 100 coming in through there. And then that's going to go right through here. There, like that. And it's going to go right through there where we've got a tunnel coming through. Yeah, so I've built a tunnel in the red area. And then I need to go up this way. That's going at 130 up there. So I, what I then want to do is I'm actually going to have to remove another big chunk of track over here. It's going to go all the way back over to there. Get rid of all of that track. And another couple lots of track right the way back over here. And then I can go and connect up more train on here like this. And that one, I want to join it on there. I don't, though, want that as a tunnel. I'll bring that up a little bit. And I can bring that down. There. I can connect that in there like that, I think. That's going to be the best way to do this. So I'm not, like, super high speed all the way through there. But the, honestly, I, at this particular point in time, I don't really mind. And I join you on that side. I think I've done... Yeah, that, that I've actually connected onto the wrong side on one of them. So I will remove that bit there and then I will go back into and I will do that one out again and we'll go on that side and then we can take this one here which I can bring out and put that round there and then I go through this way and have that as a double track that runs through there and then the last little bit is going to be that bit all the way out round there. Right, so that then sort of runs through. Now, I suppose really I should have gone up that way. It would have been better, but we'll work, we'll work with this. I, I don't mind working with this a little bit. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to remove those bits of road right there. I'm going to remove these bits of road out here as well. 
they're going to go, that's going to disappear, that's going to come off of there like that, and convert the Stuttgart track into a through station. So if I remove a few more of these bits here like that, I can then put the station down there, and that will end up being our through station. So I go back into here, and I go to buildings, uh, passenger station, which is what we want. I take that one. We will go with a 320 meter, really, really big, uh, four platform, high speed, everything, all the bells and whistles is what we're going for with this one. So I'll bring that one around like that and it's not quite got enough room to all fit in here, but it's, it's close enough. So that one can go there. It's finished. The new train station links people. Efficient, safe, and to the undivided joy of the entire population. Right. Everybody is really pleased. I am going to just finish off a little bit extra here, which is going to involve just removing a track there, and then I will go uh, back into track. So I will put one collision. Don't give me that. There is no collision. That one has got to come out. Ah, we've got a slight problem with how far into the ground that one has gone. So we're going to have to just remove a little bit of the track over this side. Get rid of a couple of those bits so that I can bring this track out like this. Bring it up and then connect that one into there like that. And then I will take the next one and I'm going to connect that one... Don't you... Don't give me that construction not possible nonsense. I'm not interested in that rubbish. Because you are possible. There, see? Told you. It's entirely possible. Then I kind of want to do a bit more out here. I want to bring that one. We want to bring it in and we want to connect it in on that side. Is what I really want to do. But I suppose I could bring you out like that. That one goes up there somewhere like that. And then the next one goes right beside it like that. Are there track modification tools? Elect we can upgrade there. Is that one is signals. Buildings. What we don't have is pre-made tracks where you can cross things over. But uh, there's not pre-made track sections. Right, we will okay that one up there. I, I want pre-made track sections. That's what I would like. And what I'm not able to do is join tracks together here either, unfortunately. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that either. I want to, to bring you this way. Uh, there we go. That one will go to there, and then that one will go over to that side, like that. It shouldn't need to do anything more than that, because they're just through tracks. So that one goes that way, and then if I bring this one over here, and I do much the same down here, that one can go out there, and then that one there can go out on that side, like that. There shouldn't be a need to do anything more than that, other than maybe put a cross in up here. If I put one there, and I put one here, like this. There, so I've got a cross, and then we can put the signals on the right-hand side, going into there, and uh, coming out on there on the right-hand side, and coming out on there on the right-hand side. Going in there on the right hand side. Uh, that should be all I need to do right there. This one is not actually a track. Hmm. Right, well, I, I, I need to just 
get rid of that section there a second, and I need to rebuild that section there a second. That one's got to come out and just join onto here. There. Okay, you you can do that, so you're still, the, the signal's still in the right place, so we don't need to do anything more with that one. And then I go all the way along to the other side of here. And I think I'm going to need to, I, I think I do need to do a little bit of this, like if I, if I take you out over there, so I've got a cross there, and I also do another cross over here, like that, and then I do another cross on this one. I've got one here, and I've got one here as well. So I've got crosses on both of those, and then they go back into the right spot on here. And this one needs to have in front of the cross on the right-hand side, and that one in front of the cross on the right-hand side, and then this one up here, there, and there, and then one going there, like that. And then I just also want to, like, put a couple of extra ones there and there, that side and that side, and then I've got this bit over here to do, like that, and I'll do one there and there, and over here and over here, and let's pop one in there, and what are we doing? One on that side. Got room for two more, I'd say. One there and one there. And okay, I've got room for a few more. We've got one there and we've got one there. And we'll do one there and one there like that. And those are on the right side. Okay, so we've, we've got that bit going. They should now be going, they should be back to what they were doing previously, and they should now we have the um, passage through Stuttgart station over there instead of going round it. So the next things that we need to do is we need to start earning money with road vehicles. Now I need goods from these two going into Stuttgart for a start. So we're going to go in here and we're going to go to our buildings. We're going to go to a truck station like this. That's going to supply the center of the town. If I can have that one running. So if I get rid of that section right there and then I go to the truck station and I bring it over here and I get rid of that one and I go to the truck station and I bring... And I... Pause the game and I get rid of that one. You're not building it there. I don't care how badly you want to. You're not building there. I've got other plans for that. So too bad. You can find somewhere else to build. I am knocking down these buildings and I'm putting in a truck station. Don't care if you don't like it. Right. Now <laughs> we can let it go again. They're really stubborn sometimes, aren't they? Um, ah, they've gone... Seriously, you're going to stuck a road right there. Go away. Right, now they're getting desperate. They, they, Did you see how fast they put that one there? Did you see how ridiculously fast that one was put there? As soon as I put, literally as soon as I did, they slammed another one in. So I'm going to go here. No, I don't want to get rid of that one. I want to go there like that. And I want to configure because I want to make these just a little bit longer. We want to car go down here. And I want to extend a couple of these out like this. Uh, I do have to watch our income, actually. So I'm not going to go any more than that. I'm going to do these out like that. I've, I've got the money at the moment. i got 20-odd million to do this. But I don't, I don't want to go out too far on it. Right, so I'll bring it to that point there. And then I will go again. Now where are you going to put your road? Now what are you going to do? They'll try and figure something out. I don't really care what they try and do now. I've, I've dealt with that. Uh, next up, I want to go and get some roads from over here. We got That's got to earn 200 million with the Intercity Express. So that's going to take a while. Um, so while that is earning, we're going to go over to here. We're going to do our upgrade. We're going to go over to the country road like that. Just the, the basic country road. And I'm going to upgrade both of them like that. 
And then I'm going to start actually building more country roads. So that one's going to go out that way over to there. And then it's going to go and curve in sort of that way. And it's going to go along over here like this. And then that one is going to come down here like this. It's going to join in there with a junction. And then that is going to go right into there like that. So we've got that one joining right in. And that will go into town in this way. And it will come round. And it will go up the back end of here. And I'm actually going to connect that one in on the back end. I'm going to go back into you. And I'm going to configure again. And I'm going to go street access. I'm going to pop a street access down on that back corner there. So that I can bring that out from over here. And it's going to be a, just a little bit quicker for the traffic coming in. So we're going to go back over to that one. They can change that round to a regular street if they want to a bit later. Um, just wondering if I should remove the building or if I should go. I'm going to go straight up there like that. I'll put that one up to there like that. And that bit is now done. And then I've got these over this side. So for those up there, we're going to want to go back to buildings. I'm going to want to go to those. I just want a platform on each side for these. So I'm going to do one... Uh, there and then I'm going to go and I'm going to do one here like this that one's going to go there and then we're going to want a depot which we haven't got yet road depot for buses and trucks and everything else so we'll put that depot down there like that get rid of that and Depot, we go into here and ooh, wait a minute. I gotta actually start building some lines up now. So the line I want, I want a new line. It's gonna go from Upper Stuttgart into Stuttgart Exchange, and then I'm gonna have another line. It's gonna go from that one, and it's going to go into there. It's bringing both of those goods into the town, and then they're gonna be sold. Now this one right here. Stuttgart, no, there, that's servicing almost the entire town anyway, right, I've got almost the entire town being serviced by that one little bit there, um, if I look here, like, it is covering just about every single little bit of this road right here, um, so I don't think I need any additional delivery routes on there. I just need those two. So I'm thinking probably four vehicles on each. We'll go in and have a look in here. We will buy vehicles. We want cargo vehicles. We've got 40-ton truck with side stakes. That takes uh, 30 bricks. A tarp truck takes everything. It's got 25 capacity. That one's got a 30 capacity. Tank truck there is um, fuel only. I think we will go with this one, because this one will do the, f the goods and the uh, construction materials in there. It does up to 100k. It, it, it's pretty good. So if we go with eight of those... Have I got the money? I haven't got the money for it. At the moment, I'm running on minus 19 million right now, which is a little bit of a problem for us, considering that I need to start actually earning money from this lot. So then we've got to decide how we're going to start earning cash. I've gone and spent a load of money. I've spent plenty of money. But how am I actually going to be... Ooh. Right, well, I've just gone and earned the money. I haven't really earned money. I think I've just been given another 100 million, which is what I keep getting every now and then, isn't it? Uh, so we will take our 100 million. We will buy vehicles in here. I want the 40-ton tarp trucks. And I want eight of those. So we got four on each line. That's six million for those. We'll go one, two, three, four of them. We're going to paint those dark blue for line nine. And we're going to put them on line nine. And then the other ones are going to be painted purple. And they are going to go out onto line ten. Just like that. Off they go. Out they run. I'm going to go and have a look at that one up the front. That's the one that we're going to follow for a minute. You can see how he gets on with doing this new run. Now, he's able to take 25 items. So, they come in here. They travel on round that way. And then they'll go out the back entrance up here. And right, we're on 74 million earnings with our trains, with the Intercity Express trains. 
which is not too shabby. That's not doing too bad. You're running all the way up here. I don't know how much you're going to be able to be loaded up with. It could be that these are too... We, we got too many on here. And we do, in fact, need to have less of these vehicles. Now, I'm looking in here. I've just loaded up four. That's not very many. But this is the front vehicle. So we'll run this one all the way in. And then this one will do the delivery. And then when he goes back again... In theory, you should be able to get a whole load more than that. So you're coming into the back here. We go in and straight into our delivery zones in here, along with the other ones. So we're, we're all doing the deliveries. Yeah, we're doing separate lines on the deliveries as well. So he's unloaded there, and mine just unloaded here. I got 14,000 there. We're on 35,000. So this is the front one. The bit I'm curious about is how much we're going to get for the next run. Is he going to have a full truckload? If he does, we can leave four trucks on each of them. Right? It will work. It, it, it will end up sort of making us a little bit of money having four trucks on each of them. But if it doesn't, if we don't get a full load with this one, I've got some bricks there. I didn't even get a full load on there. So I think two trucks is going to be plenty on there. That road vehicle there has got 17. This one coming in the back is two. That one's two and the other one's going to be two. So I'm thinking two trucks on each route for there. Which means that we want to then start expanding out and seeing what other ones are going to want. So Mundelsheim over here. Uh, charts, destinations overview shopping facilities workplaces it's not telling me what they want i gotta zoo i gotta look in so you can go to the charts up here and then you can commercial as cargo cargo layer right that's not what i want destinations no hud icon no not interested in emissions. No. No. Tell me what you want. See, Stuttgart there, I've actually got the bricks and, and the parcels on it. Ah, right. That's telling me what I need right in there. Mundelsheim doesn't have any. It's got no desires. Heilbronn has got no desires. Uh, if we look over to Frankfurt over here, we want fuel and bread over this side. I've got fuel over there, and I've got bread there. Most of these other towns, they don't actually really require anything. We're just going to want to be able to join people together, join the towns together, I think. So these trucks running backwards and forwards, I, I do want to be able to use them. I'm just going to need to be able to take them somewhere else. I'm only up to 420,000 profit on there, and my earnings are plummeting fast, because I'm just not making very much money. So if I go into the lines in here, what, what have I got? With my actual, with my, with my vehicles on here, I've got two massive great big trains on there, which I think I need to split apart. And then the same on there, and I've got nothing. I've got some small trains there, nothing on line six. Line 7 has got everything. Why are they all on line 7? They probably shouldn't be all on line 7. So if I take Jeremy Hall and Scott and I move those onto line 3. And then I take Rose, Lou and TH and I move them onto line 6. I take Scott, the Aussie and Smoodalini and I put them back onto line 5. I think that should put them all into you know, do, doing reasonably well. But then we go over and we have a look on here. This takes 87 out of 126 people. Go and have a look at you. Are you still doing the double train? No, we, we stopped doing the double train nonsense, didn't we? We got rid of the double trains. So we've got the regular trains on here. They're just... Well, I'm not quite sure what they're doing. I'm earning a bit of money, but that's going to take a while for me to earn the money properly. 
on the earn the money with the road vehicles. I think the next project that I want to do is I want to start connecting cities together. I think that is going to be something that I'm going to need to do. I've got train stations reached there, one of three. Supply transit to a second federal state. Train stations reach one of three. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I need to do about that bit. I think I modified one of these. Uh, didn't I? I did, I did. I modified one of these lines. Line one over here. I got Ansbach there and then... Grubingen over there. I need to also include Kralsheim on here, which I took out. That was the station I removed. So I need to go to Ansbach there and then add station. I don't have a station. Did I just... I deleted the station. I completely removed the station altogether, didn't I? Oh. That one's done. Oh, all right. You've successfully taken care of local transit within the entire region, and that's not going to change one bit in the future. Okay. So all i got to do now is turn this into profit, and that means that I've got to get the money coming in. The only way I'm going to get the money coming in is if I can start joining towns together, I think, and getting more goods going around, but that's not going to happen until I get my next injection of cash. And I'm not sure when I get each injection of cash, so I'm, I'm literally just going to have to wait a minute. I have a problem with Rose, Lou and Scott. Let's go and have a look. Why are you two facing off against each other? Uh, that would be because one of you is coming in onto the wrong station. Don't tell me again. I know that you've got a problem in here. I can see that already. Right. Uh, lines. You're both coming in. Right, the green one, that goes in and changes direction in here. So I think what we need to do is we need to put the green one over onto this side of the track over here. So if I go there and I go to terminals, they've both gone on to one. If I put uh, the green one here over onto terminal three, that would be better. Actually, I'm going to put the, the, if I put the orange one over there. The green one going to stay where it is and it should be all right. So the orange one, I'll move over onto terminal three like that and then everything will be fine because the green one will go in and yeah the orange one comes up to here and it goes through and th will go to there as soon as he's gone through this one will come up and then scott can come back out he moves up this way and travels across that bit i think that is acceptable. i got to wait until the first, until uh, January the 1st each year in order to be able to get the next 100 million. Uh, although I'm minus 53 million at the moment, my trains are really not making any money anymore. And it's it's quite sad, to be honest, that they are, make, they are making absolutely no money at all. So I'm wondering if I should just go and sell all of the other trains and only run the Intercity Express. And now that I, I am getting 158 million up to there. So I need to get that one up to 200 million. If I get that to 200, then I'm all right. I've just got to wait to get the, the next little injection of cash. And I either want to be extending a road out and joining some of these towns together. Or I want to be working on getting the next uh, city here provided with the next sort of set of goods. What I actually think I want to do is I want to get this road and join it into Mondelsheim and then over to Heilbronn and then connect it over here. And basically start connecting these towns together in a big long line. I don't know if that's going to be beneficial or not. I think we will. It's kind of a, a wait and see situation, but we're, we're December the 12th. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers and lorry drivers and bus drivers and boat drivers and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea, if you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.